Welcome to my first ever video book review brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. I am a two-time Microsoft MVP and a published author myself. I love computer books. And today, for my first ever video book review, I will be reviewing one of my favorites, the Microsoft Access 2019 Bible by Wiley Books. Let me first start out by saying that I have always been a huge fan of the Wiley Bible books. Whether you're learning Access, Excel, Word, or pretty much anything else computer related, Wiley has always put out a great product. The Access Bible specifically has been my personal go-to reference since I can remember. I have had every copy of the Access Bible on my shelf since at least 1995. I started using Access with version 2.0 back in 1994, so that says a lot. While the book has changed its look and authors many times over the years, it has always been a great reference material for every Access developer. I don't still have all of these books on my shelf. I've sold some of them over the years as I got the newer ones, but I certainly remember every cover that I put here on this slide. You will find the Access Bible is a very well-organized reference book. Everything is well laid out in a comprehensive guide to using Access. Pretty much every feature in Access that you can think of is explained in detail. Part 1 explains the overall structure of an Access database. Part 2 is all about tables. Part 3, queries. Part 4 is about analyzing data and working with calculations, SQL, aggregate queries, and all kinds of other information. Part 5 covers forms and reports, which are very similar. Part 6 gets into macros and some VBA programming. And finally, Part 7 talks about advanced techniques for developers. Throughout the Access Bible, you will find plenty of sidebars to give you additional information on whatever topic they happen to be discussing at that time. You will also find lots of warnings and cautions of things to watch out for. Pay close attention to these. They're packed with lots of good nuggets of information. One of the things I love the Bible for is that it has all of the charts and details you could possibly want while working with Access. Can't remember the maximum size of a long integer? It's in there. What's the date format code for the week of the year? That's in there too. The index is comprehensive enough to take you right to what you're looking for. Sure, a lot of us use Google nowadays to find this kind of information quickly, but the Bible is still a great reference to have on your shelf just in case. Now, keeping in mind everything I've said so far, the Access Bible is a great reference book for people who are already familiar with developing databases using Access or at least have experience with another database application. It is not, however, a good step-by-step -step guide for beginners, in my opinion. If you are completely new to Access or databases in general, I'm afraid you might be lost trying to learn with this book. I love it. I use the Access Bible all the time, but I've been working with Access for 26 years now. It is an absolutely fantastic reference book, but the back cover says for users of all skill levels, I have to respectfully disagree. I have also been teaching Access for over 20 years, and in my opinion, most new users who don't have experience building databases will not benefit from this reference book style of learning. Most reference books, including the Access Bible, take a depth-first technique because that's how it's easiest to arrange information for advanced users. I get it. I understand. I've written books before. It's easier to put all the stuff about tables together, then you put all the stuff about queries together, then forms, then reports, and so on. However, with this approach, you spend a ton of time learning everything there is to know about tables before you really even learn much about queries, forms, and reports. It's harder to get a better understanding of the overall picture of how a database works. 
you can see here, for example, in their table of contents, they cover everything about tables, even splitting your database, which I feel is a lot more of an advanced topic, before they really get into queries, even basic query design. Personally, I prefer a breadth-first approach to learning, especially for new users. If you're not already familiar with how Access works, I give you a little bit about tables, just what you need to get started. Then I show you how to work with queries, just a little bit. Then a little bit of form design, then a little bit of reports. Then we go back and learn more about tables, the more advanced features that you didn't need the first time around. Then we get into relationships and so on. You get a more well-rounded education about that topic this way. A depth-first approach to learning would be like teaching a high school student everything there is to know about math, including trigonometry and calculus, before teaching basic English sentence structure. It's easier to write a book with a depth-first approach, but as far as teaching someone a new concept, I think a breadth-first approach works better. So if you're new to learning access and you prefer learning from a book, consider Access for Dummies. It's also published by Wiley and it's a very, very good book for new users. I will be reviewing this book a little later on. It's not as comprehensive as the Access Bible, but it covers everything you need to know to get started if you're a new user. Then, after you learn the basics and you like working with Access, you can then graduate to the more advanced Access Bible. Now, if you don't like learning from books, if you prefer learning from video tutorials, check out my Microsoft Access for Beginners video. It's available free of charge right here on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I cover all the basics of how to get started with Access and you'll be up and running in about half an hour, building your first table, query, form and report. If you like that video, I've got a more comprehensive Access Beginner Level 1 course that is also free right here on YouTube. It's over three hours long and it goes into a lot more detail. Then, after you get comfortable with the basics, by all means, please feel free to purchase the Access Bible. Like I said, it is a fantastic reference material. It's just geared toward more advanced users. I will put a link to both the Access Bible and the Access for Dummies book on Amazon in the description below as well. Full disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate and I will receive a small commission. However, I would never recommend a product that I don't fully endorse and use myself. So thank you for watching this video book review brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you found this review helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or post your comments below. Thanks and keep learning.